This is a film showing our adventures with young people and teachers. It demonstrates that when IT is introduced into schools reasonably and with forethought, achieving great goals is possible. It was the Sus Domesticus animal, namely the ordinary pig, who led the school children from Grodzis Wielkopolski to the podium in the Adamickiewicz University in Poznan. In the competition, the e-school of Wielkopolska, the most interesting projects were praised, and one of the criteria was the creativity of the project. They won. Apart from them, 11 other groups of school children from schools in the Wielkopolska region won laptops, digital cameras and video cameras. And everything started in their school. The common opinion about school is as follows. School is boring, it kills creativity. Everybody complains. The teachers about the pupils lacking motivation and the pupils that the teachers don't try to understand their needs. Is it possible to meet halfway and reach some sort of understanding? How do you feel about pigs? Positive or negative? Positive. <laughs> and what kind? A little pink animal. Well, we call certain people that way. How do we use pigs? What do we take from them? For meat? A pig is 95% similar to a human being. If your life was in danger, would you consent to a transplant from a pig? My clock is ticking. And if it extended my life for one, two, or three years, cheating death, then yes, I would agree. For adults, a pig means simply a pork chop on their plate or a common insult. For children, a pig can be a cartoon hero or a cuddly toy. So a pig is an animal with lots of meanings. The pupils from the secondary school of Zdrodzisk Wielkopolski took on this subject as twisted as a pig's tail. Let's see what they did. The pig story is best started from the end, a visit to a nearby slaughterhouse. This is the slaughter line. It is a stand to cut the belly, to cut up and take out the innards. We always wanted to do something inspiring and interesting. We wanted to do something like that, but we didn't have the possibilities. And we came up with an idea of something very similar to a human being with similar organs. So we decided that a pig would be a good example. In order to understand a pig, you have to look into it, and then you understand everything. It feels incredible. It's so different when you touch it. It's so warm. And it's shocking that a few minutes ago it was alive. The lungs were the greatest shock for us, to see how soft and spongy they are. It's interesting that lungs, when spread out, cover 100 square meters and could cover a tennis court. It's quite different from a drawing or a diagram in a book. And now, when I come across it at school, I can see it as something real. When I first learned that a group of secondary school pupils were interested in pigs, I was really surprised. But seeing the passion and interest in them, I realized that it is a truly unbelievable story.
A pig is also a cultural phenomenon. They wanted to find out how other school children see a pig. We have worked on pigs in many aspects, including as an art object. So we thought about children's art competition. Emily's mom is a school teacher and helped us to do that. We wanted to show a pig scene through the eyes of different age groups, infants, primary school children, and then secondary school. Everything that has happened with that school and the style of the children's work, their commitment, their eagerness to discover new things and to be successful, and to do the best by themselves, it was really great. This initiative came from them, not from the teacher. So I think it was worthwhile. The e-school project activated the hidden talents of the youngsters, and for some of them, it was an incentive to rethink the common insult, you're a pig. Lots of terms related to a pig are generally negative, but when we got to know the pig, we strongly disagree with all this. It is simply untrue. We had a meeting in one girl's garden, and we started to remove from the bones everything that was left. Then we put them into a bowl, with peridrol, and waited for the results. Later on, we started to put it all together, beginning from the spine, ribs, legs. The carpels were the most difficult for me. They are all little bones, which have to be fitted tightly, just like puzzles. We looked at a pig in many aspects, in literature, geography, history, practically every subject. We learned a lot about its anatomy, we've gotten a lot out of it, and this will help us in our future education. My father never believed in me. He told me that after seeing all that, I'd get sick. But I simply saw it and it made me feel happy. Afterwards, I began to think I'm so crazy to be so happy to see it. I've worked with this class for two years. But thanks to the PIG project, I know them better. As I was not the leading person in this project, they themselves had the possibility to show what they can do. They were able to show who they are without being forced or instructed. I think I'll cooperate with them better now because I know what their abilities are. What is the teaching process? Helping other people to discover the complexity of the world. What is learning? It is a permanent experiment. It is exactly what the e-school project is about. 4,500 young people from 75 schools in the Wielkopolska region took part in the e-school project aimed at showing how to teach differently. Many creative, active teachers have been involved under the auspices of professors at the University of Poznań. In the university's library, I met Professor Stanisław Dilak, the head of the e-school project scientific board. Was it possible to change the position of a teacher from a wise man to an advisor? I think yes, and I think that the teachers are ready for changes. I would like to present it using the example of a teacher who told me once, I am putting so much effort into making the lessons interesting for children. But it doesn't help. They are bored. Here, my role is changing. They demand less from me. It is less important when the Battle of Grunwald took place, but more important what happened with the battle. It means that the questions how and why are asked more. 
The main purpose of the e-school project was not to cause a total change in the Polish educational system, but rather to teach young people to be responsible for their education. It means your learning determines your knowledge. What we really need is a change in our educational system that will make teachers believe in the children. They are young, intelligent, and they need a map. But at the same time, they want to be certain that someone respects them, that they are an important part of the school, that they are listened to when they say what they want to, what and how they are going to learn. In my opinion, the greatest success of the e-school of Wielkopolska is that it is enough to give some space to the children, to trust them a little, and they will be able to do great things. Nursery school, primary school, secondary school, higher education. That's the normal path of education for everyone. Everything starts from kindergarten. The first loves, the first rebels, the first expeditions to explore the world. This is where our talents and personality are formed. This is where we can teach children that learning is a fantastic adventure. The youngsters of Maria Magdalena Secondary School in Poznań showed them how to do it. Let's be teachers, thought the pupils of the Maria Magdalena Secondary School in Poznan, and so they invented a project for infants. Do you know what vitamins are? What are vitamins? Vitamins are things contained, for instance, in healthy things, in bananas, spinach, fruits and vegetables. They wrote the screenplay, made the educational props and experimented in being teachers in one of the kindergartens in Poznan. Now we will tell you what the vitamins are for. Does anybody know why it's so important to take vitamin A? To be healthy, not to be ill, to protect teeth from being spoiled? Sure, but there are also some other reasons that Veronica will now explain. The most important thing is that it's good for our eyes. Which products contain this vitamin? Carrots contain vitamin A. Show us a carrot. Get up, come to us and carry your carrot. A tomato contains vitamin A too. And strawberries? What contains vitamin A? Strawberries, tomatoes, and carrots. We wanted to do something for others. I think that our project for kids is very creative. Our educational plays promote ecology and a healthy way of life. Later on, when the children eat fruits or vegetables, they will say, Mommy, see, we are having a carrot, and the carrot contains a lot of vitamin A. I will have healthy eyes, and I will be able to see in the dark, for instance. In general, it is all about teaching the young people in the best possible way. And this is often achieved by experimental methods. Problem methods, for example, project learning in a school, is a method where a pupil plays the most important role. And the teacher is no longer a knowledge provider. He supervises the individual work of the student, staying apart. We have instructions in those envelopes. We do the tasks according to the instructions, and then we get new ones. And in the end, we find the treasure. Here you go. Now we will see where we must go. Go north. There! What do we have here? Now look at the envelope and at those pictures. I can tell you that the instruction is in the envelope with a picture that is here to the east. The east was on the left, on the right. Wait. Yeah.
It's wrong, children. Come on, come back. You won't get any treasure. Me, for instance, I like working with children. We're learning about how to be responsible for what we're doing. And we're learning to be on time. It's a great experience to work with such children and a responsibility. There are many tasks to be invented, and we had to decide whether they were appropriate for such small children. And first of all, the cooperation with other people. Each person has to be responsible for certain parts of the work, and it must be done properly. This is also important. The project eSchool of Wielkopolska showed that this method of learning is very efficient. It revealed the great interest of the pupils, their dedication to the subject, which they frequently chose themselves. The university professors are able to help them with the knowledge they can't find in their course books. This caused this learning to be effective. Agnieszka has found a treasure. Let's see what it is. Candies! So everybody takes some. There is a scientific concept named constructivism in which the teacher exists. But in the first place, there is a pupil, and he acquires knowledge and learns by himself. Now we've forgotten what self-learning means, and we are simply a subject to be taught. And here, a student is learning, and I decided to leave them where they were, saying, I am here when you need me. So, now I am sure that this method is excellent, that it has a future that it is a method worth working with because it gives the pupils more than we initially planned in the educational process. Wielkopolska e-school. The school that conquered the net, leaving the classrooms behind. The internet has become the natural form of communication, meetings and work. On Twitter, Blip, Facebook, YouTube and other communication platforms, hundreds and thousands of films, photos, comments and discussions were held. The e-school has gradually settled in its natural environment. A laptop is a tool of everyday work. But not in all Polish schools. The secondary school in Nomi Tomish has been investing in new technologies. Ola, insert the elements of an eye on the picture. Exercises on a multimedia screen during a biology lesson. Nowadays, pupils find more information on the internet than in books. An e-school is primarily a school using IT technologies in as many applications as possible for the management of the school, as well as for the teaching. A good example of that is an electronic school register. It is very convenient because the teachers and the pupils, together with their parents, have a continuous insight in it. And knowing the current grades, it is possible to react quickly, and so on. But the real breakthrough is the method of teaching. Nowadays, technology is global. We would like pupils to be able to learn wherever they are, having a connection to the educational environment from their house and from the school, on holiday or at a friend's house. They should have access to the educational system from everywhere. For the children of the global village, the electronic dissection of a frog is a piece of cake. The pupils are interested in these new ideas. We notice that whenever we undertake any action, they are there to participate. One of our new proposals for pupils is an e-class, a class based on new technologies, equipped with computers, laptops and tablets. 
będą na stałym wyposażeniu uczniów. Szkoła jest jednym z niewielu miejsc, które... A school is one of the very few places that precede its product. In a sense that the effects of its work are seen in five or ten years. Young adults have to compete on the employment market. They will manage the state. And so on. I am not a fan of technology. I do not think that technology is able to replace human beings. But technology should help wisely. We must ensure that there is a synergy of technology and humans. Now I enter the electronic school register. Then I click e-teaching, namely the educational platform of our school. I click subjects. I choose English language. I select tests that I have written. The educational process in Novi Tomish is supported by an educational platform used every day, both by the pupils and the teachers. One of the basic tools in the eSchool project is the educational platform. A very modern term, cloud computing, means that everyone can access the platform from any place. It means that it doesn't matter. At school or at home, you can learn from anywhere. In the majority of schools, pupils going to school on Tuesday morning don't know what they will learn that day. A lesson is therefore a surprise. I've visited several countries where such a platform is used so that pupils are prepared beforehand. And the purpose of a lesson is not to provide knowledge, but to discuss it. The discussion about knowledge during lessons is supported by an educational school platform. To enter it, the teacher has to log in. This will enable teachers to access the different sections, the classrooms, the class lists of pupils and mailbox. Above each of the classes, the teachers see the number of pupils who are not present marked in red. In the electronic school register, being exactly the same as the paper one, the teacher can check the progress of a particular pupil. They prepare tests, which are automatically sent to the pupils. Pupils can also log into the electronic platform at any time. In the area provided for the pupil, there are new messages, together with the results of the tests that were done. The results can also be sent to the parents by SMS. And if pupils want to increase their knowledge, they can always go into the library section, where the teacher leaves additional information. For example, from the English language. In Polish? Jeżeli szkoła to taka, która wykorzystuje nowoczesną technologię do nauczania. If the e-school uses modern technology in the teaching process, then I'm sure that many schools can be like that quickly. Myślę, że wiele szkół ma szansę się takimi stać bardzo szybko. Nevertheless, it all depends on commitment from the pupils, but most of all from the teachers. To attract pupils with technology, you must first attract the teachers. The environment in which schools operate has changed. In the past, schools were mainly information distributors. On this basis, we try to increase knowledge and to teach others to draw conclusions, to use that knowledge and to interpret it. Nowadays, information is easily found on the Internet. I'm doing a test in history in which I have to find different towns and countries. And here I have to find them. I cannot imagine my life without a computer. It's a little bit useful in everyday life.
Pere, Titki, Blubre. These dialect names are the most commonly known words of the Poznań dialect. Very few people speak it anymore. The young generation doesn't use this local language on an everyday basis, but they have shown an interest in it. The youngsters from the secondary school in Stara Obożyska, near Koszczan, began to look for the traces of the Wielkopolska dialect. Good morning. Could I have the book by Mr. Bartkowiak, please? We called our project Nasagom przez Pielandion, Across the Land of Potatoes. We are from the Wielkopolska region, the Kostian region to be more precise. We speak with a dialect. I met Mr. Bartkowiak and I'm very glad because he is a very important person here as he knows many stories in our dialect. I haven't met another man like him speaking so fluently in the Wielkopolska dialect. Good morning. I'm the one from the school. I came to talk with you. Come in. Thank you. Welcome, Mateusz. I am glad that you have come to visit me. Not many young people are interested in a subject like dialects. It is not very popular among the young generation. You published a book some time ago, Blueberry from Kostjan. What is this book about? In this book I describe the real life on Ica. Ica is a street corner a group of people from the neighborhood, a gang. Yes, it's a group of people living near each other. I am a member of such an eco. They are real stories from that period, some 50 years ago. And what does blubri mean? Chats, stories. So to say, when someone blubra, he tells stories that are not completely true. He is colouring, adding in or leaving out something. The hard disk will be thrown out one day, and I wanted to leave something permanent, so I thought a book is something of that kind. Wielka Polska Prilandia, Land of Potatoes, is not just Blue na Etza, but also the customs and traditions passed down from one generation to another. The women were tearing feathers in a cowshed or in a neighbor's house when the boys came in and let loose a pigeon. Can I blow on this? Ah, what a mess you would make! For children, it is a good opportunity to practice the dialect. You can talk a bit in dialect. I can say Ryczka, Tytka. Your mom won't tell you to go to the shop, but go to the store. Look what the boy is doing there, because he shouldn't waste too many feathers. I wish, for instance, that our tradition was taught at least one hour a month, perhaps while teaching Polish or geography, for example, so that the children know something about the region. I wish it was taught in school. In my opinion, it's necessary to talk about it more, so that it's not lost. In my opinion, this project activates all children to work, those who are active and those who normally stay apart. My experience shows that it's necessary to stimulate all those who are shy and who are lacking courage, and that helps them.
The pupils who took part in the Wielkopolski e-school project worked on it in their free time. The work was done after school and each group spent about six months to finish everything. For the pupils of the secondary school in Stary Obozyska, near Koschan, the project across the land of potatoes was a reason to go back into the past. We are trying to reconstruct an old farm, the old cottages, and other buildings as they looked like in our grandfather's time. Angryst, Świętojanki, Szneka, Rumput, Rediska, Plinza, Pyrrhyl. All these are dialect words. I have found a honey cake, which I like very much, and of course a one-course meal, potato pancakes, are simple dishes. I have found a lot of pictures of Wielkopolska folk costumes, and I've noted the difference between the district of Koszczan, for example, and the district of Poznań. I have learned to find information on the internet. Young people usually chat and never look for information, unless they need something for a Polish lesson, for instance, or something like that. And I learned that a lot of things can be found by accident, the good bits, of course. <laughs> The e-school project was not intended to change the Polish education as a whole. It aimed at changing the way of thinking about the Polish schools, so that it looks like the school of dreams, challenging, innovatory, with friendly solutions for pupils. The purpose was to find a platform of understanding between pupils and teachers, to make them understand that they are different and have different approaches. The Wielkopolska e-school project proved this cooperation to be successful. And learning is possible everywhere, even on the tram. A laptop at school is important, but what is the school of our dreams like? The school of my dreams should have a lot of physical exercise and also a lot of Polish lessons because we discuss lots of problems and many themes. It should have something to do with motorcycles because I like riding motorbikes. The school of my dreams is my actual school because it's developing my interests. A school of dreams is something already existing. All you have to do is see the dreams in it. The school of my dreams? A school where every pupil has their own initiative and goes ahead with ideas, with someone there to help it come true. If it's a good idea, of course. The school of my dreams would be a school where pupils achieve what is important for their lives. I think that such projects contribute a lot into school life, as well as into the private lives of pupils. It would be nice if they could carry laptops rather than backpacks to school.